What about ChatGPT? Can it solve the Riemann hypothesis? Just to remind you, there is a $1 million prize for anyone who finds a proof of the Riemann hypothesis. So let's see if ChatGPT can give us a hint. All right, so I asked ChatGPT, can you find all the zeros of the Riemann zeta function in the critical strip, in the strip of complex numbers with real part between zero and one? So ChatGPT does recognize that problem as the Riemann hypothesis. It basically says that this is a very complex mathematical problem and that those zeros are related to the distribution of prime numbers, which they certainly are. And then it just goes on to say that, well, we have methods and algorithms to study the zeros, but providing a complete list is beyond the scope of a simple text conversation. <laughs> That's true too. So then I asked ChatGPT, do you think someone will prove the Riemann hypothesis in my lifetime? And what it says is that, well, it's a very well-known, long-standing problem. And as far as it knows, uh, ChatGPT, it's still unproven. And that uh, progress happens, you know, sometimes all of a sudden there is a breakthrough in mathematics, which is true. And uh, there are many people who are working on uh, related problems and maybe someone will all of a sudden have a great idea and make a great breakthrough and solve the Riemann hypothesis. Who knows? And then it says whether it will happen in your lifetime. Well, who knows? It depends. Like, well, at least it's a very exciting open question. So lots of people are working on it. Mm. Finally, I ask, what if it's false? And ChatGPT gave, again, a very solid response. Well, if it's proven false, then it would have profound implications in the field of mathematics. Again, it would have some implications on the distribution of prime numbers, for example. And uh, its falsification could lead to a reevaluation of existing mathematical theories uh, and development of uh, new approaches to understand the distribution of prime numbers. Um, however, however, as ChatGPT notes, there is a lot of extensive calculations that have verified the Riemann hypothesis really high up in the complex plane. So if there is an example or a counterexample of the Riemann hypothesis, it's going to be like way up uh, in the complex plane in the critical strip, and it would have some limited ramifications on the what we know about the distribution of prime numbers. We would have to change a little bit what we know, uh, but it depends how far the zeros are um, how close to the critical line uh, one half they are and how far from there they can be, that that would have more or less implications if it was to be false.